In Informatica Developer, you can create a reusable transformation, which is a transformation that you can use in multiple mappings or maplets. In this demo, you will learn how to create a reusable transformation and reuse it in multiple mappings. You'll also see how you can change the transformation once and have all instances of the transformation in mappings or maplets inherit the changes. If you look at the Object Explorer view, you can see that there is a sales project in the repository. We will create a transformation in the sales project. If I click the sales project, select new and then select transformation. In the transformation wizard, you select a transformation type. Let's select the expression transformation, then click next. Enter a name for the expression transformation. In Somatica naming convention guidelines use an EXP prefix. Click finish to create the transformation. An expression transformation appears under the transformations category of the project that we are working on and it is open in the editor. Let's minimize some of the views to enlarge the editor. We are going to add pass through ports. Add pass through ports to the transformation so that the data integration service can pass these port values unchanged through the transformation. To add ports to the transformation, click the new button in the ports area of the overview view. Edit the ports to specify the name, data type, and precision. Create a pass through port customer underscore rank of the integer data type with the position of 10. Create a pass through port customer underscore number of the decimal data type with a precision of 5. Then create the pass through port save underscore amount with the decimal data type with the precision of 5. To connect the reusable transformation to the target and to add an expression, you need the transformation to contain at least one output port. Let's add an output port called discount with a decimal data type and a precision of 5. Click the open button in the expression column of the discount port to open the expression editor. We will now add an expression in the expression editor. Delete the text in the expression editor and then enter the expression. The expression implies that the top four customers are eligible for a discount up to 20%. The remaining customers are eligible for a discount up to 10%. Click validate to verify that the expression is valid. Click OK. Click File Save to save the transformation. Click the Object Explorer View button on the left. Let's open the mapping M Customers Discount East. Drag the reusable expression transformation from the Object Explorer View into the editor. You can connect the transformation input ports to an upstream transformation or a source. In this demo, we are going to connect the top 10 customers east source to the expression transformation. In the editor, use the control key to select the customer rank, customer number and sale amount ports in the source data object. Drag them to the transformation input port. Let's connect the expression transformation to the customer discount ease target data object. Use the shift key to select all of the transformation output ports. Drag them to the target. We need to verify that our mapping is valid. Right click the editor and click validate. Our mapping is valid so we'll save the mapping. Click file save to save the valid mapping. Let's expand the Object Explorer view and open another mapping. Drag the expression transformation to the mapping. Connect the ports. Let's validate and save the mapping.
Let's edit a reusable transformation to see how all instances of that transformation inherit the changes. Let's change the position of the pass through port, sale amount, and expression transformation. You can see that the position is 5. Change the position to 10. Click File Save to save the transformation. Let's verify that the sale amount port has a position of 10 in all the mappings that contain the reusable transformation. The change has been propagated for the expression transformation in both the mappings. The developer tool includes a cheat sheet that explains how to create and use a reusable transformation. Click Help Cheat Sheets and select the cheat sheet called Create and Use a Reusable Transformation. That completes this demo. To summarize, we created a reusable transformation. We used the transformation in two mappings, changed a reusable transformation and watched all instances of the transformation inherit the changes. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.